Now let's see what happens when we have to trace a curve when the equation is given in parametric form. Okay, so let us suppose I have been given x as a function of t and I have been given y as another function of t. Okay, if this is the scenario, how would I trace my curve? Okay, so what were the basic characteristics? These were the basic characteristics that I would analyze when my curve is in Cartesian form, okay, in x and y coordinates. Symmetry, okay, so let's see what happens to symmetry in this case. So, in this case, if you change t to minus t and fx remains as it is or rather ft remains as it is and gt becomes minus of gt then we say that the curve is symmetric about x axis okay similarly if you change t to minus t and ft becomes minus of ft and gt remains as it is then we say that my curve is symmetric about y axis okay so the rules have changed and these are you have to replace t with minus t and look for the scenarios where ft becomes minus ft and gt remains as it is and where ft remains as it is and gt becomes minus gt okay so this is the scenario where you have y axis symmetry or symmetry about y axis and this is the scenario where you have symmetry about x axis okay another scenario is if both of these guys remain as it is if I change t to minus t then I have symmetry in opposite quadrants okay so another scenario would be if ft remains as it is and gt remains as it is then I have symmetry in opposite quadrants okay now to find intersection with coordinate axes what you can do is you can put x is equal to 0 get a corresponding value of t put that value of t over here and get the corresponding value of y ok so x is equal to 0 get t put it over here get y ok similarly you can put y equal to 0 over here get the corresponding t ok put that t over here and get the corresponding x so this is how you are going to find out the intersection with coordinate axes ok next point is region where curve does not lie this you can simply analyze by looking at the equations x is equal to ft and y is equal to g of t ok look for scenarios where x is imaginary or y is imaginary ok so these are the regions where your x and y does not exist ok now the next two points tangents at origin and asymptotes for this I need my equation in this format ok because I know based on this equation how to get my asymptotes and tangents at origin ok so one way to deal with this is to eliminate t from these two equations so what you could do is you could look at this equation get t in terms of x ok from this you could get t in terms of x and then you can replace it over here so you would get y as a function of x ok one way to do is this but this is a complicated way ok eliminating t is not that easy so what we want to do is we want to for the time being forget about this and this ok rather what we want to do is we want to look at our critical points in this case 